This is an example of a Toric T9 IOL that has rotated. You can see the alignment mark inferiorly, and we focus to the alignment marks on the toric lens and back. This lens has rotated approximately 30 degrees. So we bring the patient back to the operating room, and we perform an aura, which confirms that there is about four diopters of residual astigmatism. Then we mark the cornea, marking the point where the IOL is currently and where we want to rotate it to. Previously, we used our website, uh, www.astigmatismfix.com, which calculated that the IOL should be rotated approximately 30 degrees clockwise. Uh, once we make our initial marks, then we find 30 degrees away and mark that precisely. One thing that's nice about marking the current position and where you're going to mark to is that you don't have to take into account the effects of cyclorotation. Clearly you would have to when you originally implant the IOL but not once it's in place. We go through the original incision and insert viscoelastic to inflate the capsular bag. It's nice to use the original incision because you're not inducing any new surgically induced astigmatism. Once the haptics are freed from the posterior capsule, the lens can be rotated. This lens has only been in place for approximately a week and a half, and so it's quite easy to rotate. Um, if uh, I prefer to rotate in the clockwise direction because it's a bit easier to rotate, and now you can see that the alignment marks on the IOL are consistent with the ink marks on the cornea, and we're in good position. Viscoelastic removal is performed with irrigation and aspiration. In this case, I did not put new viscoelastic behind the IOL because the IOL rotated so easily. Once that viscoelastic is removed, the wounds can be hydrated and uh, the centration of the IOL can be confirmed. In this case, you can see that the capsule rexus is not covering the entire IOL. The IOL is repositioned so that it is covered by the capsule rexus and a repeat aura is performed confirming that there is now about one half a diopter of residual astigmatism remaining.